All right, guys, welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Jason, and today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Rockwood Ultralight 2893BS. This is a rear living fifth wheel. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so right when you step inside, you can see we have this combined living room kitchen space. The living room is quite spacious with lots of floor space. Across from our TV, we have our two theater seats. These are, have a cup holder in the center as well as some storage. And this does have 110 outlet as well as USB ports. These are manual recliners and they have electric lumbar support. We also have a little storage on either side of the armrest. In the back of the unit, you can see we have a large couch. This does pull out into a trifold bed, which is very nice. On the other side of the couch, we have USB ports as well as a 110 outlet and little coffee nook tables as well. So have this nice elegant lighting on either side. And this is equipped with the MCD day night roller shades. Up above that, we have a lot of cabinetry. These have these deep cabinets, which is a combined cabinet space. Also have this gorgeous glass styles on the front as well. Moving on to our entertainment center, we have a nice TV up above, as well as a little storage nook. We also have our IRV Technologies head unit. This allows you to do Bluetooth to your phone, as well as the TV audio, and has a DVD player. It also controls all your speaker zones inside and out. Down below that, we have our fireplace. This does allow heat, you to heat the unit as well. Up above, the TV is hiding a secret. If you pull down on this lever, we have some hidden storage back here. It has two shelves, it's very nice. To the right, we have our pantry. Pretty sizable space with a good bit of shelves, pretty deep. Continuing on in our kitchen, you see Rockwood kind of went with a more squared off island design. It's a little deeper, which allows you to have these two stools. It's very nice, gives you a little bit of a breakfast nook. Spinning around, we can see we have a Magic Chef microwave as well as a Magic Chef oven. This oven does have a three burner cooktop as well as a glass cover. Down below that, we have this nice deep storage drawer. And just behind that, we have our island, which has some storage in it as well. Continuing forward, my favorite part of the kitchen, is we have this huge 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. Continuing on from the fridge, we have this nice little counter area, which houses our sink and some overhead cabinetry. Up to a shelf up above in there. Down below that, we have imitation tile backsplash, as well as USB outlets and 110 outlets. We also have our dual basis stainless steel sink, has sink covers. Also has a pull out wand on the sink. Down below that, we have some cabinet space. Rockwood does throw in a trash can for us. Also have some drawers, as well as Rockwood throws in again a, a silverware organizer. We also have another little cubby above that. Turning forward, we have our main climate controls. This controls our heat as well as our ACs, and this is equipped with two. Continuing on, we have our dinette. Rockwood builds a very nice dinette. It does have deep seating, as well as I love this freestanding dinette table. It folds down flat, and you can actually take it outside because it is freestanding. It's a very solid table as well. This does also drop down into a bed. And down below each seat, we have these nice big pull-out storage drawers. Let's move on upstairs. As we come up the stairs, see in this hallway, we have our main control panel, which controls our lights and our slide outs. This also integrates with Rockwood's app, so you can control all this from your phone. Next to that, we have a Max Air vent fan remote control. That vent fan is located up above in the kitchen. We also have another one located in the bathroom we'll check out in just a second. Stepping up just to our left, we'll go into our bathroom. Here we can see we have a nice spacious shower as well as our toilet down below to the left. And we also have some cabinetry. These are deep cabinet cubbies with plenty of room for towels. So I have a storage up above the toilet. Oh, and down below that, we also have another one of those Max Air vent fan controls. And that vent fan is located up above in the center of the room. 
Moving over, we have another one of those stylish lights up above our medicine cabinet. Features a little bit of storage. Down below that, we have our sink. We have a little bit extra counter space to the side. And down below that, we have a cabinet, a little cubby. And also under that little countertop overhang, we have a 110 outlet, great for plugging in hair dryers. We have our shower as well. This features a skylight for taller folks. This also is a pretty big space. We have a nice little seat inside if you need to sit down in the shower. Also, this is equipped with a shower miser system. I'll link a video up in the corner explaining that. Moving out of the bathroom, let's go into the bedroom. Stepping up into the bedroom, we notice we have an east-west bed layout. This is a queen bed. Also have nightstands on either side with 110 outlets, as well as a padded headboard, it's really nice. Up at the nose, we have our walk-in closet. This has mirrors as well as some wood accents. It makes the room feel a little bit bigger. The closet has two long shelves up above. Down below that, mounted underneath, we have a kind of a modern style hanging rod system. And down below that, we have three shelves as well as some power back here. We also have washer dryer prep as well to the right. And the switch to the right uh, controls our accent lighting up above the doors. Over to the left, we have two cabinets. We also have a hanging rod in this area. And this shelf is removable, so you can utilize that hanging rod. Down below that, we have two drawers, pretty deep drawers. Now up under our bed, it is strut assisted, and we have quite a little bit of underbed storage. These two boxes house our Suburban griddle that comes with the unit. We'll take a look at that when we go outside. But you'll notice underneath this bed, we have all this aluminum frame up. This is something Rockwood does that I really like that gives a lot more durability than just a wood frame up. Across from our bed, we have a little dresser. This dresser has a solid surface on top, as well as four very deep drawers. Up above that, we have a backer for our TV, as well as hookups for our TV. All right, guys, that about wraps up the inside. Let's go check out the outside. All right, guys, here on the outside of a Rockwood, we'll start here at the front cap. See, we are, is this unit is equipped with a curt turning point hitch. Also have some nice LED docking lights up above that. Down below, we have our front storage area. You see this is equipped with two batteries, and we also have our battery cutoff in there. And this also is equipped with an inverter. Over here, we have our docking lights, as well as a GoPower solar port on the outside. Moving around to the door side, up in the front here, we can see we have one side of our saddlebag propane tanks. Next to that, we have our main pass-through storage area. Pretty spacious storage area. Also have a little hanging area for all our tools. And across the way, you can see our water filter over there for easy access. And also on that wall is our inverter. Moving along, this does have the more ride step above steps, steps and these are strut assisted, making it a little easier to get them up and down. This unit also has two large awnings spanning our patio side, very nice. Toward the back, we have our outdoor kitchen area. We have our suburban griddle we mentioned inside, as well as a little table. And this rides on Rockwood's rail system. We also have outside speakers out here as well. And toward the back here, we have a little port. This is a spray port, which the hose is in the other side of the docking station, which we'll get to in a minute. Around back, we have our ladder for roof access. We also have prep for a Fury on backup camera. And down below, we have a two inch receiver hitch. Move it around, there's our 50 amp port. We also have a storage bay here. This is parked too close to a unit currently to open it. This is a tall storage area. That's about six inches deep. I can see you storing camping chairs and stuff in there. Continuing on, we had the back side of our pass-through storage, and here you can see we have our main water hookups. Continuing on, we have our level controller. This has 
four point electric level up. All right, guys, that concludes the Rockwood fifth wheel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And until next time, guys, happy camping. Thank you.